me the way. Hey, you mean the way I call? Funny how. Funny. <laughs> oh, oh, Anthony. He's a big boy. He knows what he said. What'd you say? Right. Funny how. You mean? So? Let me understand. Uh, it makes me a little dumb. I'm funny how. Funny like I'm clown. Amuse you and make you laugh. Here to fucking amuse you. What do you mean? Funny how? I'm no, no, I don't know. You said. How do I know? You said. Funny. How the fuck am I funny? What the fuck? Tell, tell me what's. Get the fuck out of here. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas. Welcome back to the episode of Getting Those On Eat Boy Rajopolis. Right back at it. Ishmael. Ishmael Claus form. And I'm going to jump into another beer review that my good man, Mafia Mole, sent me. Root and Branch. <sighs> doing it and doing it right. But before we get started, I just want to... I've been setting this off. I want to get it done before New Year starts. So, Ridge's updated top 10 hop list goes as follows. Number one, Citra. You, you got to go Citra. It's staple. It's in almost everything. I love Citrus for, uh, fruit notes and... It's a rock star. Number two, this shot way up the list to take the two spot. Sabro, huge coconut guy, huge pina colada guy. I always get those vibes, pina colada, coconut, fantastic, fantastic hop. They got to make something more like that, like just, or something similar, like maybe, I don't know, a coconut peach essence hop. Whatever they got to do, they got to do it. Number three, absolute staple, Motueka. I see Motueka on the can, I buy it. No questions asked. Number four, another newcomer taking the four spot. I mean, these guys are jumping in the top five. Rowaka, New Zealand hops, absolutely destroying the scene. Number six, Galaxy, another staple. Got to have that in the top five. I mean, that was number five. Number six, so we have Citra one, Sabro two, Motueka three, Rowaka four, Galaxy five. We're up to number six, a very, very new hop. Seeing it sprout up everywhere. Strata. Killing it, killing it, killing it. Usually every time you see that in a, in a brew, it's magic from a good company. I've done right, of course. That goes for any hop. Number seven, Mosaic, another staple. Number eight, Simcoe. I mean, those the Citra, Mosaic, Simcoe's gal, you really don't got to explain it. They're, 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 they're champions. You know, they're, they're first ballot Hall of Famers on anybody's top ten list if you're in the craft beer. They should be. Number nine, another surprise, Idaho 7. Solid, solid hop. Number 10, a sleeper in my book, El Dorado. You, done right, fantastic. Okay, so that's my top 10. I'm going to give you two bonus. Number 11, number 12, ones that are rising up through the ranks. Nectaron. That's a not a rare hop that you see all the time, but Hop Butcher for the world, they use it quite a few times. Most of the times I've had it was from them. A couple other companies sprinkle it in here and there, but that's a solid, solid hop. Watch out for that one. And number 12, Vic Secret. Always another fine hop. So let's throw that over there. Actually, let's make sure this isn't in the picture. It might be. Who cares? I had to break out the juice orb for this. I haven't used the juice orb in a while because it's a thin glass. Hard to clean in there. And I always feel like I'm going to break it. And then I'll be upset because it is my favorite glass. So this is another one from Root & Branch. Mafia Mole. He got a guy. Very hard to get brew. Worth all the hype. Just like they had with Fightins. Maybe neck and neck with Fightins. Sometimes slightly better. They had a triple, the Sayer. That was one of the best triples I've ever had in my life. And this is, everyone levitates above their own sea of hell. That's a mouthful. Double IPA. And this is... That's another. They don't tell you the ABV. That bothers me. I'm thinking 8, 8.5, I would say. Molt, so, multi-oat slash wheat double IPA. Okay, and they're out in Long Island, uh, not far, like Levittown out there, some shit like that. And it says, the title and illusions of this beer serves as an imperative, what, atheist? I don't care for that. Nah, I'm not going to read that. That, that, that already bothers me. I don't like seeing stuff like that, but six can art, uh, can art, it's like a wave with a dude standing on top of it. So let's get a little white, snap some tin. See what we got. Thank you, Mafia Mole. <laughs> now, if you if you can get your hands on root and branch, you got to do it. I would not lie to you. I would not steal you wrong. Trade, weekend trip, whatever you got to do, make it happen because they are worth the hype. And they are going to be rock stars in the future. You'll see their name spreading rapidly. They just opened up a new... They finally got, they went from a garage to a, a, a real place. They've been there settling in for the last, like, I don't know, five, six months, whatever, maybe less. 
and you're gonna see them in the future. I guarantee that is beautiful. That is a golden, golden yellow, just vibrant color right there. I don't know what it looks like on the camera. Got the natural light behind it, the window, and then also the light for my uh, my light ring. And a finger of mixed mash bubbles. Actually, the head's going down pretty quick, so we'll see what's up with that. I don't see no floaties, nothing else, non-see-through. Looks fantastic. Get a nose on them. Ugh. Thick, creamy, peachy. Oh, that's loaded with stone fruit heavy. Oh, man. My nice earth behind that peach. At first, I was getting earthy, but now I'm getting a lot of peach forward. And then the earth that took the back seat once I swirled it a little bit. This smells. <laughs> I love what they're doing. Mike, you, you got to steady dose me here. And send a couple extra cans I could give the bear. He has to try them. We'll make you happy. Adroid theory. Nice trade right there. Okay. That's all I got for you. Mike, you're my dude. Oh, I didn't do a date. This is a date of October 5th. Today is December 6th. So, what my uh, root and branch. Okay, so hot butcher, root and branch. Uh, my heavy other half beers, like the Oak Creams and the Triples, um, Fightins. Those heavier upper tier companies that give you that thick creamy. I like to let them at least hit the two month mark. So I like to try to get them. This one's slightly over two months. One day over <laughs> over two months. So I don't want it to be green or any. I want it to blossom in the can and just be ready to rip rip and roll. So this is phenomenal. Clobbered with stone fruit. You get nectarine. You're getting peach. You get apricot, all that fun stuff right there. Thinner body than I thought from the pour. I thought it was going to be a little more. Well, let's see what the back end pour brings. Maybe they might change it up. Burp the baby. Always got to burp the baby, kids. Nah, same. Didn't do anything. It's just, it's not really that complex. It's just tons of stone fruit. A nice earthy punch behind it. It's slightly less than medium. Carbonation, pretty low. Definitely less than average. Not extremely low, but somewhere in the middle between low and medium. Um, bitterness whittled way down. Like, they chop that shit with, a, with an axe. Like, they get that out of here. Does not dry out. Wet, moist. Coats the tongue with a nice, like, juicy texture. This is phenomenal. Hop juice, man. It's, neck, it's stone fruit hop juice. Definitely not the best I had from them. Um, there's not much more I can say. Uh, this is, like, my sixth from them. I'll put this uh, towards the bottom. I don't know if it's the, le the worst I've had from them, but... It's not anything that's crazy, crazy good. It's definitely a solid brew. You're going to four-pack it. Not two. One four-pack, move on. Go to the freezer. Get something else that they got. If you're at Because you can only go to the brewery to get these for the most part. They do very, very little distro. They're starting to get into that now as they bought, got the new place and they're settling in. But it'll be a while before you see them steadily. Um, solid brew, man. 4.1 all day. Mafia Mo, Can't thank you enough. You're a damn good dude. Coming. Ishma Claus. Everybody out. Peace. I am Oz, the great and powerful.